Hey folks, Steve Sacramento here again. And today I just want to do a quick video to show you some of the artifacts or historical things I have seen around Folsom Lake and where they are exactly so you can go see them before the lake fills up again. You can see on the screen here I have Google Maps pulled up with Folsom Lake in the center. And if we zoom in to the Granite Bay area, you can see where it says Granite Bay mean Main Beach. I'll put some call outs on here in production of this video so you can see it's an arrow pointing to where I'm talking about. Because I don't think I can do this on the iPad recording. Uh, but anyway, so you can see the Granite Bay Main Beach area. And if you take this road, well, let me show you where you enter. You can see Folsom Lake Granite Bay entrance. It's where you come in. There's three large parking lots there. You keep going north on the main road. And you go past the turnoff where the Granite Bay Main Beach is. And then you take this winding road around through the woods. There's some sharp turns, so you got to be careful. And eventually, you end up at the Beaks Bite parking lot, right in the center of the screen now. You park, get out of your car, take the path to the north, it kind of curves around to the right. And the first thing you'll see on the screen here, I have water pipe, and you can actually see it on Google Maps here. It is out of the ground, and it's a pipe that's about... I'm going to guess six to eight inches in diameter on the inside, maybe eight inches on the outside, um, or ten, something like that. And it kind of leads down to where you can see I have marked water gun. And I'm going to put in the description and in the card up in the top right corner of the screen where I have a, a uh, video of this water gun already published that you can see what it really looks like up close. As I zoom out again here, you can see to the right here, I've marked where part of the North Fork Ditch is. This is the rim of the North Fork Ditch or Water Canal that used to be here in the 1800s. That was used for irrigation, for mining, and a lot of houses probably just use it for their daily washing and animals and orchards and vineyards and everything. I don't know if they drank out of it, but maybe they boiled it and then drank it. I don't know. But that's what it was used for. And the North Fork Ditch is very long, encompasses very many miles. And this is just one little snippet of it. It's about maybe, I don't know, 10 feet long, something like that. There's many, many other places where you can see it along here too. But let me go on to the next one. So the next one I have marked, you can see very plainly on the screen. It looks like a foundation of either a house or business or a storage place or something. And it's kind of hard to see right now because at this time, there's a lot of weeds very tall weeds last time I was there about a month or two ago and it's hard to find but I'm going to put uh, GPS descriptions in the or GPS locations rather in the description of this video so you can click on them and it will take take you directly to where this is on Google Maps and that way you can use your phone or other GPS device and go directly to this location. And the foundation, it's kind of hard to see right here, but yeah, there, there's actually steps on the right side here that you can see. And it's just a house foundation or some kind of building foundation out there. And those are the four things that you can see if you go to Beak Spiked. I will have more of these later. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.